You ain't my G-damn cousin, Trevor. I thought we was family. But please, just go and ruin somebody else's home furnishings. What an absolute trait. No one, my sweet. Hey, by any chance, did you catch crabs at that conference? I heard oh. that those conferences are regular little fuck fest, huh? Guy, come in. Huh? I'd like you to leave mm. right now. Oh yeah, some serious corporate gang banging going on, right? Yeah, with every executive and director of communications from here to Bangalore taking it left, right, and center in the name of team training, right? I mean, now that's what Floyd told me yesterday as he was staring at my uh, my penis. I want you to leave. <laughs> Look, this is all I've got, all right? I had a tough upbringing. My daddy was not nice to me, okay? And look, Deborah, I love you, and I love you too, Floyd. Why can't we all just be together, huh? You can have Mondays through Thursdays. You can have the weekends, all right? I know that's not normal, but in this crazy, crazy world, <laughs> this normal so good, huh? Look, Deborah, Floyd, will you marry me? Get out of my condo! And you go too, Floyd! I told you! I've got a career! I don't need this! 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 Crap! Yes! There. <laughs> you made me swear. You're crap, Floyd! Crap! <laughs> I'm sorry, Floyd. She, she sold you out, bro. She sold you out in one minute. Oh, who's Bob? I want both of you to go now, you and your weird friend. Whoa! Hey! My name is Trevor, sweetheart. I could give a fuck what your fucking name is! I'm not afraid to use this. I'm not. Oh! Bob taught me. Fuck Bob! You people are not very fucking nice! Is somebody like call the police? This is turning into some sort of a domestic abuse. Oh. Oh shit. Oh, hey there, Trevor. Oh. <laughs> oh. <sighs> hey there, Wade. Did you meet Gebra? Interesting lady. I should probably go say hi. I wouldn't. Why not? Let's go get in the car, all right? Let's go have the time of our lives. This is really messed up, like. Oh, I know exactly where to take you. I don't know what to say, man. This is really messed up, like. It's even more messed up. He's just done a full scale I could run murder. into Floyd and Deborah. I know she seems kind of uptight, but she can have fun. Mm, no, I don't think she can, Wade. Just Floyd then? Floyd's gonna meet us there. Boy's trip. Exactly. Uh, yeah, Trevor, I mean, and he's just go going to the strip club. You're all right. It is absolutely you fucking got, madness. You got syrup? Yeah. Syrup. Accidents. We've all been there. We sure have, but they don't taste like syrup. Don't taste me, all right? Just no licking. Okay. Hey, you remember when we met? Sure. Last year. I was on the way to the gathering with Daisy Bell and Kush Chronic and... And you stopped in Sandy Shores to get lit and you met a dealer and he looked after you when your friends abandoned you. That was weird, weren't it? The last time I saw him, it was with you driving out to the quarry and then they just disappeared. Poof, right? I mean, they were gone. Some friends, right? And now Cousin Deborah don't want you around. I mean, there's a pattern here. The Congo did get messy. The pattern is you can't rely on anyone, anyone except me. Pattern is, Trevor, you're an absolute psycho. Well, you're an absolute certified psycho. It just, that's the pattern and that is the Look, conclusion this of it. is it. Well, we could actually save cars by oh, yeah. walking next to the strip club. I don't like him. He's a real homebody. He loves that apartment. Interestingly, you and me, we got a new home. Where? <laughs> here. Right here. 
Here? Mm. Oh. Yeah, now I know it's unconventional, but that's the way we roll, homie. Hey, you two, you two, I want you to give this boy a good time for a long time. Hey, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Tell me where the manager is for this fine establishment. Through there and take two doors to the right. Mm -hmm. there. Just, just casually asking her with blood all over his clothes. Good old tea, man. Amigo! Prepare to meet your new partner. Oh, what, what are you going to do, T? Oh, shit. I, I think I know what he's going to do. He's just going to slaughter the guy. Or maybe I'll like, put a gun against his head and say, hey, Lester. give me the hey, club. Uh, Trevor just called about the um, the big one, the, the UD. You know anything? Yeah. I told him we could hit it. You down? Of course I'm down. Look, I'll get my research together and meet you at Trevor's. He's taking over the Vanilla Unicorn Gentleman's Club. All right, message Franklin. He's just taking it over, Michael. Now, nothing is too serious. He's just, he's just casually taking it over, you know? And I love the fact you just didn't even ask any further questions to Lester. Oh, that's okay. No, it's just the way it is in GTA 5. I'm trying to watch it, baby. Oh, we gotta get to the place. Oh. Oh, is that is that baby girl? Send out an email. Why the hell she couldn't just um, send a message or give us a call? Right, so I miss you even though you're a dick. Hey, Dad, how are you? I mean, look at that subject of matter. I miss you even though you're a dick. I just hope my daughters don't talk to me like that when I get older. But hey ho, how are you? It's like so majorly weird writing to you like this. It's like the 90s or something. Email? Wow. But I didn't want to call as I've only get... I'd only get sad and then afterwards I'll do something I regret. But maybe you don't need to know about that. I miss you. I think we all do. Sort of. Fabian is so annoying. If I wanted to do a yoga, I'd like to go to India or something. And he keeps asking me to call him dad. Only joking. See, I do have a sense of humor. My singing and dancing are going well, but I'm really pissed that you screwed up. Fame or shame for me. He's such a dick. Jimmy is useless. I wonder how him and I could come from the same place. Was mom doing coke again when she was pregnant with me? Joke. I mean, I kind of feel for Tracy like she's just being stuck in the middle. But I feel like she's always going to be daddy's girl regardless. Like she's always going to do the stupid things. Even if she, when she actually grows up, you could tell Michael is always going to be there for her, regardless. And uh, that's probably the whole cute thing about being a family. And being in a family, regardless. And speaking of family, if you are, I don't know, and you are a returning viewer, just allow me to say welcome to the family. Oh, who's that, Ricky? Hello. IT guy. What's up, bro? Look, I know you aren't still fixing computers for a living. When are you going to throw some work my way? Hey, if you're right for a project, I'll be in touch, okay? Okay, but don't forget about me. Well, I'll do my best, bro. Jeez. Yo, what's up, fam? Mr. My name DeSantis. is Michael. Good to see you. Yeah. You know who's boss? I'll rock any color I want. That's about right. And just as a Can side note, I do apologize uh, for not having any kind of music. As you Yo, probably know, up? YouTube gets us to create as a bit crucified when we do put some sort of copyrighted music. You know, just in case you're wondering why it's a bit boring in the strip club. Hey. Oh, God. Before you ask, the fridge is broken. That's all right. I've had enough of your hospitality already. 
changed my ways, all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm done with that crazy shit, all right? I want to square things away with Merriweather, make sure the agency ain't coming back after us, and then do one last big score, and then you get to go back with your family. Me, I'm just going to live here. I'm going to run this, this good business showing people a good time. B bust Brad out of prison, and then, you know, happy. <laughs> so how'd you come by this place anyway? I've had it for ages. So you must know Leon, the old manager. Leon? I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, whatever, man. So what's going on here? What's going on is the big one. A long, long time ago, in a faraway place, there were three guys. Michael, Trevor, and Lester. And Brad. Uh, yeah. Sure, Brad was there sometimes as well. I mean, there were other guys, though, too. So, uh... Anyway, we uh, robbed and lied and we hurt people. Pretty much lived a low-life kind of existence. But always dreaming of one thing and one thing only. The big one. The big one. The, the big, big one. one! What is the big one? <laughs> the Union Depository. Around 200 million in gold bricks, all taken from kindly Uncle Sam, who will spend the rest of our lives being hunted by government officials if we live through the attempt. But... But! It'll be my, uh, our masterpiece. So, gentlemen, let's do our civic duty and get out there and find some gainful employment. Let's gainful go. employment. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Big one. Oh shit, I guess that's Leon. <laughs> Come in, you there? Alright, we're on a strict schedule. There's a couple of armored cars on a dry run to the depository. Intel suggests they'll be going down Innocence Boulevard in East LS. Hey man, we're gonna need some body work done. Trevor and I need to map their route for a possible hijack point. So, we're going to his airfield in Blaine County and coming back in his chopper to intercept. Michael Franklin, all you gotta do is take the temperature at the bank. Hey, we are uh, taking the temperature. Yeah, you know, getting a feel for it. Security, exit rods, general vibe. Right. Oh, okay. So I keep looking at the map. I'm like, where the hell we're we going? All right, we're here. That doesn't look like much. Man, security looks light. We send in a couple of sprung niggas. Clap, clap. What are you talking about, Frank? Oh, I see it, man. Getting in the door is easy. It's a standard bank. It's getting underground that's hard. Ain't that where the metal's kept? Right. Now we gotta stop outside the Arcadia Center down on Alta Street. We can get a view of the back from there. Alright, let's switch to Mr. T. Oh, okay. We're driving to the airfield. Jeez. Oh yeah, we'll probably need to get like some sort of a helicopter or something. You'll get 20% of 200 million. A maximum of 200 million if I can get the funds diverted and you pull it off. Still, come on, 20% of that's a lot of coin for sitting on your fat ass. Is it too much to ask for a little respect? Just a little? Because I respect you, Trevor. Strangely, I do. I can see how you're useful. Terrifying, but useful. Oh. Well, I can think of a few uses for you, you chubby little ball of fun. I want your help. All 20% of 200 million of it. Actually, man, I've got another... We're down on Alta Street, coming up on the back of the bank. Oh, shit. It's all your fault, Michael. You're trying to talk to me no. while I'm driving. Seriously. A big job. Payment up front. What is it? Yeah. I don't know why I didn't think of it before. I want to bring you in on the ground floor this time. That's not a joke about disabled access. I didn't think it was, but now I do. I ain't even talked to Mike about it yet, but he's going to be on board. He's obligated. What is it? Ain't it obvious? Bustin' Brad out of the clink. Okay, I'm going to stop you there, T. Some things are just better left alone. Brad's not a thing. He's part of the crew. Well, a crew's more than a sum of its parts, and he was a pretty shit part. He is a pretty shit part, and that's only because he's in jail. No, he was, is shit because he's lazy, forgetful, mean, and stupid with respect. 
He's changed, all right? He writes now, emails. He's educated himself in... 13.30. We're an hour down, two to go. I can't really remember. Are they How do you talk kind of you trying to convince Trevor he's still to you alive? Your I can't really remember by the end of the game. Come back to me. Oh, Does actually fuck. Trevor find out or not? But I was gonna pay you, man. When there ain't an obvious profit in something, you're a hard guy to motivate. Is that chop? Yeah, it looks like it's chop. Jeez, just chilling out. On the you're airfield. The one who keeps talking about the schedule, Lest. Come on. Why the doors of the helicopter aren't closing? Be careful not to get too close to the prison. Oh shit. An alarm. Good boy. Don't want him jumpy for the breakout. Ah, yeah. Mike's observations fit with your scheme. So far, yeah. The it's absolutely mad. I never thought the there will be a prison nearby. Any disturbance is going to get picked up immediately. What those two don't know is there's a special team of cops on standby 24-7 waiting on a signal from the UD. Won't go out on any other call. And it's never been hit. Man, those guys must get bored. They may be cops, but they work for the government. There's nothing government workers love more than to accept tax dollars for doing nothing. Oh yeah, that spying on innocent people. Mmm, getting paid to do nothing and spying on innocent people. Now, who does that remind me of? Anyway, if you want to hit the way that people will notice, the key will be to divert the security team. Divert it? You said they hold out for calls from the UD and that's it. They do, so we'd have to hit it twice, once to distract them and once to get it done. You're going to find someone willing to get caught hitting a super bank just as a distraction. I was thinking, Michael, it might appeal to his ego. Oh, what am I saying? We got the perfect guy for it. Trevor, how you doing? Uh, well, uh, I like clockwork, Mikey. I like clockwork. We like that. There's a timer going on. Oh no, it's not actually a timer, it's a time, sorry. We have a visual on the convoy! Keep with them, T. Do whatever Les needs you to do. Okay. We need to stay with them and find a place to ambush. What kind of ambush spot are we looking for? I tend to wait in the jaw and catch them with their drawers down, but I guess that won't work here. No, it, uh, won't. We're looking for somewhere with cover for us and no escape routes for them. Ah, the same principle as a men's room. Yeah, uh, I guess. Shall we just not get too close to them, though? Because that might just, like, trigger them off. Let's go a bit up. It's a bit annoying, like, when you get the focus thing going. What about here for the job? You can't there, really the have bridges. the point of the helicopter as a view. We'll have plenty of cover. It's too open. There's a number of get-outs, and we'd be compromised if they were driven off the road into the river. We could recover the cars. With the right equipment, we'd haul them up the side. A central station is monitoring the car's positions. If the GPS tracker reads it's down there in the channel, we'll have red flags all over the place. Fine! Yeah, that's actually quite right. They go on that river. The police are just going to know straight away there's something wrong. Surely the river isn't realistically a route at all. I don't like being in close proximity to you for extended periods of time. And the same for short periods of time. Oh, there's ways to make minutes go by. So it says pull back from the security trucks. Jesus, I'm getting like so dizzy. Come through here. This tunnel would work for a switch. They go in, you come out. 
Are they coming out yet? Here we go. Okay, they'll be back out in the open now. It'll have to be a quick turnaround, but you can hijack the trucks in there. Oh, on that corner. I'm picking up the cars. Right on time. Hey, it, uh, it looks like we're going to need some IDs to get in the building this way. I'm assuming that's doable, Les. IDs I can handle. Onion 86 in sight. Stand by. You know, you got Lester, the brain of the operation. He could definitely handle hey, IDs and codes on Wilbur. Tell that to the traffic. <laughs> All right. Oh, brilliant. In the building. They even know what his dad's LA in terms of the van scan from one point to another. They're excavating the new LS Metro tunnel around here. They take us around the building and find the construction site. Roger that. Looking for a big asshole. A construction site. I can't see any construction site. Hover above it while I record what we need. Hover above so I can shoot down into it. Okay, one minute. Do not want to be crashing into shit. What are you doing, man? Need to make some plans. Okay, perfect. Let's get the hell out of here. You know what is really, I would say, quite really weird, and I think Rockstar developers forgot about it. If you got a helicopter on top of the bank or the Union Depository, that should be flagged. Just, just had to mention that. Sorry. Bring out the gold in them. Simple. You won't even have to fire a shot if everything goes to plan. When does everything go to plan? If it's ever going to, this is the time. Sounds hopeful to me. You got a backup plan? Well, we can modify this chopper to carry the weight, but we need another one to match. Easy enough to get. If we're using it for the job, would you consider taking your name off the side? You think I'm taking down the union? Depository and anything other than a chopper with my name on it. Well, then you don't know me, bro. I thought you'd say that. You tell him, bro. You tell him exactly that, T. I'm just, a, like, absolutely amazed to find out there is a prison next to the airfield. I would never have thought of that. All right, take it steady now, T. Nice and slow. We got two ideas. It's gonna take a while to get them together or work them up, but I think there's a way. It's not impossible. All right, I'll start thinking about the breakout too. Bradley Snyder, he's getting bored. Talk to Michael, okay? Goodbye. Goodbye, El. Yo, knock, knock. Where, where are you, Michael? Don't tell me you're doing some sort of a yoga lesson. Hey, man. Fuck. What do you want? I'm your friend. I don't want anything, man. Come on, your company's good enough, huh? Same as always. Yeah, thanks. I really appreciate that. So, family ain't back yet, huh? <laughs> nope. Oh, she's a goddamn fool, man. Despite all the chaos of these last few weeks, I think I finally figured it out. Oh, 
Okay, Michael. Sounds ridiculous. No, actually, it does not sound ridiculous, you know? Because you, you're a killer. You know? You are a man of action! You do not sit on couches, you take scores! You're back, man. We are back! All right? All we gotta go do is bust out Brad and then we're golden, man! Franklin, he makes us multicultural. Lester makes it cyber. We're like modern America. We just get ourselves a gay friend. Bam! No, it's not it. I got money. It just makes you miserable. I want to make movies. Great. It's great. And uh, so where exactly does this leave me in the second act of your life? <laughs> we're going to do this last big job. And then we're going to dissolve the partnership. This is not a game to me, all right? This is a fucking way of life. I got a fucking family. Yeah, well, I got nothing. No one gives a fuck about me. I do. Oh, fuck you. I saw your grave. I mourned you. And then it turns out that everything I fucking thought about you was wrong. Everything. Dead, and you're not a man. Well, what the fuck are you? I'm your fucking nightmare! Yeah, enough with your goddamn threats! Everybody cool down for a bit. Cool down. I mean, let me just ask you something. All right, something I've been, I've been thinking about. Up in North Yankton, exactly... Who was buried in your place? Uh-oh. I never gave it any thought. You know what I'm thinking? I had no clue. You treacherous piece of shit! You're fucking dead! You're fucking dead! What? Oh, fuck. Trevor! Hey! T! Yeah, he, he kind of, like, figured it out. Could be his old mate. And now it's like, go to the Sandy Shores airfield. Yeah, this is like really messed up, man. This is absolutely fucked up. Fuck you! Hey, come on, where are you going? You know where I'm going, fuck you! You don't need to go all the way to North Gang to find out what I can tell you over a couple beers back in my house. Come on, we'll order pizza. Fuck you! Fuck your pizza! Fuck everything it stands! This is insanity! Oh, no. No, it's clear and reason thought. Finally! Come on! Come back! We'll talk! I'm not gonna listen to another one of your lies! Hey, I'll lay it all out for you. Everything. Turn around! I'm going up there to see it for myself. You'll be disappointed. <laughs> Oh, I'll be something. It'll be an anti-climax. The grave's empty. Just a bag of sand, something like that. Just smoke and mirrors. Ooh, alive! How do you do it, man? The game is up. I'm trying to save you a trip. You've done me enough favors by you, right? Save your fucking breath. Trevor, come on. Fuck you, Michael. Soon enough, I will. This is what it really feels, the true stab in the back that Trevor's experienced, probably. Trevor? It's great to, uh... They're a plane I can use. Get me across country. Sure. Sure. We got one fueled up for a trip south of the border. I'm taking it. Is everything okay, man? Everything is not okay. Nothing has ever been okay, but I gotta see it for myself. I'm gonna see an old friend, all right? You're where I think you are, buddy. I don't know why I didn't see it. I guess, I guess I didn't want to. Fuck! Maybe I knew all along. I'm gonna find out for sure, and I'm gonna do something about it. There's always something wrong with that job. What went down after, I guess. I guess I wanted to believe fucking, fucking play circus! Idiot, idiot! Idiot! I'm sorry, Trevor. You can tell now, like, Trevor's gonna shoot and kill anything that comes in front of him but what i was trying to say it is definitely the biggest to stab in the back for trevor now i'm a bit more cautious about the fact is he gonna dig the grave or not 
because if he actually digs a grave and it looks like there's been a body in there then he's just going to know instantly it was his old friend from the previous crew and this is I don't really know like why they had to actually put some sort of a plot within the story like that it wasn't just needed maybe it would have been so much easier if Marco have just told him listen he's gone and he's buried instead of me um, and just you know clear the air with Trevor there's just no absolute need for all of this well hey ho it is what it is let's get on the plane and go to that graveyard and just get it all over your chest or off your chest yeah off your chesty oh shit T there's some Chinese guys looking for you asking where you're flying I think it's Chinga's people I didn't tell what was that I didn't tell where you was going, I swear I didn't. He probably did tell him. Maybe while getting his ass whipped. They probably reached a limit with him and he just told them where we exactly going. As I recall, somebody's going to be after Trevor in this next scene. And this is Lodendorf North Yankton. Hopefully I said that right. Oh shit. Who you got in here, huh? As if I need to ask. Hey! You're wasting your time. Is that why you flew out here? Huh? Tell me I'm wasting my time? Go ahead, dig it up. I don't give a shit. Yeah, that's what you look like. The guy who doesn't give a shit. That's ridiculous. How long are you gonna keep lying for, Mikey, huh? When's it gonna stop? What happens in the dark? Comes out in the light. I'll give it a rest, Trevor. <laughs> There's nothing there. <sighs> This is it. Moment of truth. Is it gonna be empty? Oh fuck. Oh fuck, he just found out. I didn't know. Brad! Look. We do what we gotta do to survive. This thing, it didn't work out the way it was supposed to. Oh, how was that, huh? With Brad in the can and me in the ground, or, 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 or both of us in the coffin? Brad got shot, you saw it. He didn't make it. I got shot, I did, that's, that's it. I think the only thing that didn't go as planned was me showing up on your doorstep 10 years later, Mikey. I mourned you, and I missed you. But I got a fucking family, Trevor. We were all gonna die. He did die. You reptilian motherfucker! Hey, hey, you that's not it. necessary. Yes, you did! You just don't have the fucking balls to do it! But I do! I got more to lose than you. Never a truer word has been spoken, brother. Now pull the fucking trigger! You ain't got the guts. You, you're like a brother to him. He's Take never gonna do shot. that, man. Who is that? <laughs> Fuck! 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 Fuck. <laughs> John Phillips! Mr. Cho has requested a word! Hey, ho, ho! I'm not the guy you're looking for! Hey, how's it been? How's it Get the boyfriend! Boyfriend? Motherfucker. Hold on, bro. Hold on. Oh, is that only what we got? Now you Brilliant. Where are Should I've got a fucking SMG or a rifle at least. Yeah. 
！我要杀了你们！我们前进吧。Easy, buddy. Who are your pals, Trevor? Get out of the van. Find it. He's here. Bro, we need to cover like somewhere, man. Come on. You can't fight. Trevor, you dick. Trevor, they're they're literally realistically looking for you, man. Ah, you want a boyfriend, huh? Yeah, let's let's give him some dicks. <laughs> Sorry, that was a bit inappropriate, but hey ho. You gotta have a bit of fun with GTA, man. Hey, you got the wrong guy! Right, we, we need to carry on moving a little bit. You started this! We got you, you idiot! You call an idiot, man. Oh shit, there's a lot more coming in front of me. Oh, we just gained like eighteen dollars. You would have thought these guys are like proper. Oh, hey, back off! Take that. Yeah, you you would have thought they're like minted and shit. Me and Trevor, we ain't friends no more. We could have teamed up. This is it for you. Where are they? You eat No, 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 no. You gotta take cover. They're coming from behind. You're way off, assholes. Go, Nyangyangda. Can't see him. There's one left. You're making a mistake. You're on ice, prick. Is that it? They sent like a whole bloody army after Trevor. Fuck off, you confused pieces of shit! You should have gone after the other guy! You are screwed! Oh crap, Michael, be careful! We got you, you idiot! Blow up this van. Oh, it doesn't look like it. You are going nowhere, Mister. Fuck off! Oh, is that it? I think we need to get the hell out of here, Michael. And another van. <laughs> okay. Trevor. Oh, he's taking the bloody keys. You got nowhere to go, boyfriend. All right, all right. Get out the fucking car. Now my memory is working. This is where he actually gets kidnapped. Madness. Now we're going to find out if Trevor is truly his boyfriend or not. It just feels like we're playing some sort of a flight simulator game at this rate. Oh crap. Trevor Phillips Industries. Mr. Phillips, this is Wei Chang. You know my eldest son Tao. Yeah, the ex-nut. Backed out of a contract we agreed on. How is he? Still learning the ropes, thank you. My friends miss you in North Yankton. I was hoping we could talk. Ha! <laughs> was that your people? Ah, oh, of course. So I had to cut out. <laughs> Your operation causes problem for me. I want to expand into Blaine County, but your business and your temperament prevent me from making inroads. Oh, well, too bad. I don't know what you can do about that. I've already done something. We have your lover. Whoa, 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 whoa. My lover? <laughs> Michael DeSanta. You live in your trailer together with the maid. And then you were alone in that big house. Well, you are clearly very close. You know, how much will you give up for his safety? 
<laughs> My lover! Yeah, right! That's a tough break. I never want to double cross a friend and put him in danger, but you gotta do what you gotta do. My business ain't going anywhere. I'm serious about this. He will die. Tell him I love him dearly. Wow. Wow. Absolutely wow. Trevor, did you just do that? Did you actually just say, tell him I love you dearly and just hang up the phone? Man, that's not being a brother. Like, seriously, T. I'm very disappointed in you. Oh, Lamar. Let's see what he wants. Hold on. Let me let me just land this bad boy. Here we go. Nice and easy. Nice and easy, T. Be good to hang out with um, Lamar and Franklin for a bit. Bury the hatch. One hell of a hatch it is. Hello. <sighs> Who is this? It's me. I shouldn't have called. P Patricia. Oh. Mrs. Madrazo. Hey. Are you behaving, Trevor? Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Patricia, I really miss you. Our time together it was, it was very important. I have to go. Oh, he does actually miss her. Right, okay, that's Lamar. Can we try, like, to call her back? It sounds really cheesy, but... It'd be nice just to call her back. Well, I'll Busy. be fucked. How fucking rude. Oh, crap. Oh, crap, she's calling back. Patricia, Mrs. Madrazo. Trevor, oh, I miss you, all you boys. I miss you too. I, c I can't speak for the other boys. You're such good friends. Uh, it's a bit more complicated than that. Actually, Michael and I, yeah, not speaking. Old friendships cannot be replaced. Hey, how are you? Is Martin looking after you? He's here. I've got to go. Oh, crap. She's torturing us, man. She's torturing us so slowly. Oi, taxi. Hello? Lamar Davis. What's up? I'm part of the team. That's what's up. Team? I don't do teams. Uh, Devin Weston's car still a team? The one Frank's running. Oh, oh yeah, that one. Hey, look, I boosted the ride. I'm about to meet your boy Franklin, and I need your ass to pick up the Packer, meet us outside the garage, and we taking these motherfuckers up to Polito Bay. All right, buddy. Fine. That's a long trip. Very long trip, but hey -ho. We could always uh, fast forward it, maybe. With some speed racing, collect the car. Who the hell is that? Is that Lamar? Or is that Franklin? That looks like Franklin. Where is the car? Oh, here it is. You driving or I am? Oh, looks like I am. He waiting at the garage. Wow, what what a beast on that bad boy. Oh my god, easy Frankie. How'd it go? Any problem? You know me, fool. Yeah, I do know you, fool. So what you think? Smooth as silk. I'm thinking where the blood stains and the bullet holes and shit. Man, fuck. That amateur shit behind me, I'm a professional now, like you and them old dudes. So tell me what happened. I saw the ride, I took the ride. No drama, no security. No one said, who the fuck is this gangly motherfucker doing in my car? Nothing. That's worrying, man. That's some shady ass shit. Man, chill. Line it up on the carrier, homie. The final piece of the puzzle. How the hell I'm gonna get it all the way on top, Trevor? One minute, G. That's teamwork, motherfuckers. 
man's happy, then we'll get moving. And this old bust ass nigga ain't no ball. Enough, nigga. Get your ass right. in the truck. Let's go. Dream the Team, baby. The Three Musketeers. Sonora Freeway. Hey, it's uh cozy in here. Scooch up, homie. Yeah. Scooch over here. Scoochin' in that crazy dude? Oh, hell no, that nigga stank. Get over here. I don't bite. They ain't what I heard. All cannibalistic and shit. Frank, what you been telling him? I say what I see, homie. You dig on man me. Ah, uh, rumor and hearsay. We got a long way to go. I'd get comfortable. All right, nigga, but don't try nothing. How far is it? In this thing? Don't try nothing. About four hours. Shit. It's your operation, Slick. Shit, if you all right driving, I'm gonna catch up on some sleep. Go for it. It's all right being the boss. Meant to be running things, but this fool sleep. Yeah, I'll be asleep when your ass stop talking, nigga. Some boss. Wow. Just leave it all to T, man. Hey, man, what that other dude? The dude that creeped on that dude. Michael, his creeping days are done. Well, what you mean? He stopped creeping? No more creeping for him. He, like, retired from, from creeping? From everything. That's funny, because, like, the boy Frank didn't mention shit about that. And as a matter of fact, I don't even know the dude. But considering the mutual acquaintances we got, I would have liked an invite to the retirement party. There were no party. No party? I use the term retirement euphemistically. Homie, for a dude that kills dudes and eats dudes and fuck dudes, you talk for it. It's unconfirmed. What's unconfirmed? The fact that you talk stupid or the fact that you do some messed up shit? Or where the other dude's at? Like, maybe he's dead. The last one. Oh, oh shit, man. no. Fuck. He's not shot, T. I don't know if Franklin knows, but let's just let him sleep. Shit. Yeah, it's a bummer. But you know, he was a good guy he made out. Man, dude was a killer, a thief, a liar, and irritable as shit. Yeah, a liar. Above all else, a fucking liar. Homie, you sound like some bitch he ain't called. Like, oh, he lied to me. I am <laughs> some bitch he didn't call for ten years. Fuck, man, he fucked you. The fuck? Damn. He fucked the fucker himself. Shut up. Man, the first time's always special. I hope he was gentle with you. Enough of that. And enough about me fucking. I don't do that. As a rule. Maybe when I got to LS, I was I was a little overwhelmed by the place. I got a little out of control. But that ain't who I am. The most of but the Michael fucked you. Yeah. The Michael fucked me. And the Michael fucked Brad. And the Michael ran off with the FIB. Brad? Who? Who the fuck is Brad? Brad is our boy back from the day. And Michael killed him? Michael got him killed. He died when Michael faked his death. I thought Michael died and Brad was in the pen, when actually Brad was in the ground and Michael was in hiding. And now Michael's dead and it's all okay? Michael's current condition is unconfirmed. I said that. But if he was unconfirmed dead, be because of this Brad dude who died whenever. <sighs> yes. Man, I thought you and Michael were tight. So did I. Okay, that makes a lot of fucking sense. Well, it's not very, like, it's a lonely old conclusive road, in terms of the outcome. Hey, I couldn't say. I mean, not really. A road's a road. It ain't got abandonment issues. Truckers on the blacktop making do. I don't need to make do. I need to make snaps on these rides. Sure. Yeah, the time will come. It's what happens before we get paid is what? Franklin's asleep. It's just me and you. What? What you trying to say? You want me to jack you off or something? Jesus, no. God, no. Of course not. Unless. <laughs> Man, you's a sick fiend. Just fiending for some friendship. Friendship? Right, whatever, man. It's just truckers are a symbol in this country. And a part of its mythology, like cowboys, gangsters, hobos, gangbang. Truckers are about the unsexiest myth I ever heard. Apart from hobos. Uh, maybe tired with hobos. Freedom. Loners in the night. You know what truckers do? Cut up women and get other dudes to jack them off. Come to think about it, aside from not lugging freight around the country, you got about all the necessary prerequisites for a fine career in Harlem. No shame in that. 
if you don't want to get paid or enjoy human contact. Money's bullshit. So is friendship. All right, all right, all right. I see you still touching. He's still hurt from it, man. Just leave him alone. How's Franklin doing over there? Ah, uh, dude getting paid to sleep. Don't even worry about him. Ah, uh, sleep of innocence. So he, like, in charge on this one? You work for him? He's a kind of figurehead. A puppet, if you like. With Devin Weston's hand up his ass. Right up to the elbow. That dude, real sad. He is. Uh, nobody but likes him, I think. Paid us, he can be whatever we want. What you want him to be? I want him to be someone who understands that all the money in the world can't save him from a nasty guy who thinks he's an asshole. Now that's something I want to see. So, uh, tell me, man, how y'all end up meeting? Michael introduced us. Me and Frank didn't exactly travel in similar circles. Nah, I mean the creeper. Michael? Ha! <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you know. Sorry, I don't want to reminisce. The wounds ain't healed. Oh shit, what's happening? Wake up, you dozy motherfucker. One time was on a ride. What you gonna do, old fearless leader? Okay, shit, I got an idea. Keep driving. I'm gonna take the tricked out JB700 and get rid of the tail. Devin's lawyer oh. said there'd be some new hardware on board. Hey, take this headset. We have reason to believe you were transporting stolen vehicles. Pull over to the side of the road. Oh crap, it means we're gonna have to lose him. The hell is going on? Oh, you gotta wait for Frankie to get into one of these cars. Sorry, Frankie, I'm trying to do my best. Come on, Frankie. Get inside the car, bro. One time. Oh, oh, I got to get my eyes checked. All right, let's change up to Frankie now. Man, let me see if I can get some of these cops off. Oh, that's the one that um, sprays the shit on the street. You're not us. Here you go. Did that work? Shit. No. I thought you said the coast was clear when you boosted in the bar. It was. They sneaky motherfuckers. The police on. Actually, hold on. Get to the Come on, CEO. Deal Here we go. That's <laughs> one down. A second down. I'll right, get the third one off. Oh shit. Alright, hold on one minute, I'm coming through. Come on, faster than this, Frankie. Let's go. down. Is that it? Get rid of these cops quick, Frank. I get the car back though. Oh, that car is a bit smashed up now. This Frank, Franklin Clinton. Mr. Clinton, sure. For the record, this falls under attorney-client privilege. Mm, we got that shipment, you know. 
Cops was all over it, but we lost them. Where exactly you at? Procopio truck stop. Get here soon. Hey, I'm gonna speak to the legal counsel one. Get us paid. Yeah, I heard about that CEO pay shit. Just make sure it's fair salary for the workforce, motherfucker. Yeah, what he said. You take it. Oh, care. there she is. Hold Head on. Back to I was like wondering where the hell I'm going. Hello, Franklin. Yeah, where Devin at? Somewhere meditating or ripping somebody off? In light of the drama your efforts caused, we felt it was not perhaps the best idea for you two to be seen together for a while. Where's the money? Mr. Weston is one of the most brilliant investors the world has ever known. He's obviously a maverick, but he's also rigorous in his research. Yeah, he may be brilliant. Look, let me be the first to tell you. He ain't gonna fall in love with your ass. Now, where the fuck is my money? The That's best fucking thing harsh. Happened to you in the situation has happened. He is going to hold your money, invest it in his alpha fund, and make the funds available to you at a time as the transfer will not induce any undue attention. Which is a polite way of saying I'm getting robbed? Are you fucking kidding me? That is a short sighted and frankly immature way of seeing things, Mr. Clinton. Let's go. Uh-oh. We got and robbed. Maturity is not really my fucking thing. Kind of agree, man. It would have been really nice to get paid. Especially with the inflation shit going on. It's not on, man. It's just not on. Franklin. What's happening, Lester? Hey, look, you seen Michael? Man, the contact he set me up with is holding out on the payment, dawg. Huh. Um, let's see. His phone is offline. His credit cards aren't active. This is aberrant behavior. Hmm. Last usage is for a flight to North Yankton. There, there was a signal from his cell back in Los Santos, but now nothing. Damn. Is he in the city, dawg? Shit, he could be in trouble, huh? I don't know, but it's worth speaking to Trevor. Most likely he was with him in the Midwest. I'll get him to come see you. Shit, all right, homie. Look, send him to my aunt's crib, all right? Send him to my aunt's crib. Okay. All right, Franklin. See how that goes. Oh, we God. Women. We are free. We're bringing an end to the patriarchy. We are women. Here are pain. We are women. Here are shout. We are women. We have no doubt. We are women. We are free. We are Shut women. the are fuck free. up. Thank you. Oh, my N-word, huh? What What's up, up homie, huh? Oh. <laughs> Is that how you act? <laughs> I can't, I can't take this. Huh? No, uh, really? Man. Oh, no. What? Oh, so what, it's just me getting hurt? Is that funny? No, huh? man. Well, fuck you! I'm gonna put you in the fucking ground, you laugh at me again. Man, calm down. You gotta I take a chill pill. in my life, but you... Oh, you're not long for this world if this is the way you fucking act. You little jumped up motherfucker! Look, how about this, man? Calm down. It was funny at first, man. I made a mistake. Unfortunately, man, you failed. It was funny, all right? I apologize. I accept him. Your apology. Okay? All right, so. Let's hug it out. Mm. <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> right. yeah, so fucking you fucking gotcha! Oh, fuck, no, I'm not funny! Fucking asshole! Oh, fuck, I, I had a difficult childhood. <sighs> Damn, man, you all right? Give him a hug, man. Just give him a hug. Fucking on edge, you know? Look, I love you, right? But I would have... I would have... Look, fucking... Look, man. Lester said you had some information for us about Michael. Michael? Fuck Michael. I hope he's dead. Man, I know y'all two, man. Come on, man. You two had beef before. But what the fuck happened in North Yankton? Somebody pinched him, man. Who? <sighs> My friend Ron met these Chinese assholes. They're from Yangshan in China. We had some problems. They mistakenly thought Michael was a human being and kidnapped him. Yeah, and now it looks like they're holding him somewhere in the city. Yes. 
Come on, bro. Well, go fuck yourself. You want that piece of shit? That's your fucking business, all right? He's dead to me, all right? And chances are, if and when I see him, he's gonna be dead to everyone else as well. Hey, come on, bro, don't do that. You're pushing your luck, pal. Come on, T. I can't believe he's actually walking out on it. Uh, nothing. Ah! Asshole! Everybody! Assholes! <sighs> Call up, Lester. Just do hey, it, mate. It's me. What did Trevor say? Man, Michael's being held by a Chinese crew because of Trevor. The irony isn't lost. I'm sending you an app for your phone. Michael's cell just came back online. This will track its signal. It'll work better the closer you get. Be careful. Sure. Oh, crap. I told you! He ain't my Gila! Don't try to persuade me, you're not lovers. He's laughing at you, you fucking idiot! You're making a mistake! It costs a lot of money to track you down. I had to call in every favor I could in the Midwest. And then you kill several good men. Good day, huh? Good day. Good fucking day to you! Kill him! Hey, Trevor hey, Phillips no. isn't coming. Whoa, 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 No, hey, hey! Hey! Hey, I'm a valuable commander! We better find him. As soon as possible. Oh, this bloody... Oh, okay, hold on. Where's that? I think we need to find like a better car. Seriously, Franklin. Okay, whoa, 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 wait a minute. All right, we need to. This car tires driving me absolutely insane. Can we just not like get the exact GPS location, Lester? Seriously, fam. It would have been like so much easier, man. We really need to find it before they whack him. We cannot lose Michael, man. Hey, he's in this somewhere. How you getting? Oh. oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. We're here. How do we actually get in? One minute. Is there like another entrance? Okay. Wait a second. Let's go around it a bit. There's gotta be a bloody way around it, surely. Where the hell? Is it from here, maybe? I can't remember, like, getting inside whatever the hell it is. From the top. Right, move your ass, Franklin, because we got to be a bit quick. Is that a door? Oh, shit. Surprise, surprise, man. Where are you gonna go now? Oh, we got a door, baby. Oh, yeah, we got a door. And 
definitely going to be rescuing Michael. You got an old white dude that don't belong to you. Yeah, you tell him, man. You tell him. Michael! Michael, can you hear me, man? Hey, what it got you, man? Duh. In case you ain't figured out, I ain't paying no rent. You got the wrong guy here. Yeah, I ain't paying no ransom, man. Even if I ain't paying a ransom, I'm getting a fucking refund. That is for sure. So you can't hustle a hustler. Oh shit, who is that? Yeah. Well, not two seconds, but maybe like give me, just give me a minute or something. You ain't gonna get missed, motherfucker. I'm coming, man. Time to release this dude. Give me a sec. Yeah, before they turn you into some sort of a you Chinese mince beef thingy. Oh shit. Oh, that's nasty. There you go. You were trying to find more time. Huh? They got you locked down hard, homie. Shit. It's a bit weird, like, shooting around upside down. Well, you need to shoot faster. Seriously. Here we go. Right. Check around the corner. Can you get yourself down? Clear the corridor, then we'll get out of here. Uh, I was just beginning to feel it all. Yeah, no shit. Huh? Damn, how many of these fuckers are there? Probably a whole fucking army. Uh oh. <laughs> Pick yourself up. We're getting out of here. Nice shot. Nice shot, Michael. We going out this way. It is a slaughterhouse. That's for sure. We just looking to get out of here, man. Oh, oh crap! I thought that was one of the Chinese guys. Sorry, Michael. My bad, G. Crazy, they're all like getting like minced out, man. We the ones who should be pissed with you. That's the hell. See, like hiding behind the bloody meat thingy. That's gotta be all low. We should go, man. Seriously, we need to get the hell out of here, bro. Come on, come on, let's go. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me just pick a nice car, Michael. I just want to get home. I'm going to get you there. Oh, I like that. Nice and quick. Exactly what we need, baby. Coming after Don't worry, bro. They just fucking wrecked the bloody car, man. Real smooth, bro. Give me another minute, dog. I'll save you. That it? We clear? Yeah, man, we clear. That's it. Uh, me, man, what a scene that was. That's about the size of the shit. Yeah. Woo. Back there on that meat hook, I thought it was over. When the dude had the knife on me, man, I thought the same thing. Right. Thank you, bro. You didn't have to. Yeah, bro. Of course I. We have to do it, man. Come on, we can't leave you like that, Michael. Hey, how'd you even find me? Lester sent me this app that tracked your sales signal. Ah, Lester. How'd you even know I got snatched up? Trevor told me. Kind of. I asked him what he knew about you disappearing in North Lake. Yeah, I bet he wasn't that forthcoming, was he? Well, he told me in the end. How'd they pinch you anyway? Oh, shit. We're up there, 
and Trevor freaks the fuck out. He was about to kill me, Franklin. And then these Chinese guys show up. They take me. He fucks up. For real? Too real. Okay. Well, if you don't want to talk about that, how about Devin Weston? Weston? What about it? We delivered the last of them cars, only he ain't paid us yet. Says he gonna invest the fucking money. Well, he's a clever guy. You know, that might not be such a bad idea. Are you fucking serious? Look, Franklin, you're gonna get your money, okay? From the sounds of it, you'll even get some interest, too. And I got this other deal with Weston down at the film studio. So we gotta wait for that to play out before I got any leverage over your deal. For real? Come on, Franklin, I've had my feet changed to a meat hook for the last few hours. Give me some time. I'll figure it out. I promise. Yeah, whatever. It's probably giving you a lot of time to think as well, Michael. That's that's the harsh reality. When you're upside down, so close to death, it definitely makes you consider a lot of options. All right, I'll see you. For sure. Hey, you sure you don't want to come in? What, your big empty-ass house? Dog, I'm depressed enough already. All right. Well, listen, thanks. Look, man, before you go, what the fuck happened up there? I said, Trevor went crazy, tried to kill me, I got jumped by the Chinese. Man, before all that, I'm talking about the feds. Trevor, this guy Brad, man. I know what you meant. Look, I made a judgment call. I don't know if it's the right one. I did what I thought I had to do. I had a young family, Franklin. I was running with a crew of crazy motherfuckers with nothing to lose. I saw it out. A future for me, for my family. I took it. You took it? Man, you burned every motherfucker you've ever known. It was that or die. He had no choice, I man. sounds cold. I don't expect you to understand it. Not yet, but you will. When you got ties of your own. Look, you wake up one day, and, and your legs, they just give. You just can't run anymore. All right, man, look. You watch your back, all right? When Trevor finds out you're still alive, I don't know what the fuck he gonna do. Don't worry about Trevor. He's not gonna get near me. Hey, you watch your back. You hear me? Dog, it ain't me he coming for. We straight. It's you, dog. It's you. I'm just saying. Wow. What an absolute twist. What an absolute episode. There we are. Back home. Completely empty. No family. No Tracy. No Amanda. No one. And Michael shall sleep alive tonight. Fresh meat. Oh yeah. And the slaughterhouse.